for football. The Portuguese have been very relaxed. Their coach, Humberto Collio, gave them Sunday off with their families. They've been back uh, to their training since in MLO. In the centre of Belgium, there is Luis Figo. Uh, the last moment of concentration from him as well. And Figo, by the way, today overtakes his coach's record of 64 caps for his country. The third in the squad to have done so recently. Vita Bahia tonight wins his 74th cap. Figo his 65th cap. And Fernando Couto his 68th cap. And as I mentioned, uh, Didier Deschamps is tonight winning cap number 100. And Laurent Blanc cap number 94 as Gunter Benko gets the semi-final. Blowing up for 10 free kicks and we've only had 10 minutes. So even my weak mathematics tells me that's one a minute. And Zidane will chip the ball in here. Blanc has gone, but Dieter Bayek gathers the ball right on the dead ball line. Rui Costa. Two white shirts conversion. Inside goes Deschamps, but he'll hit a shot here, which rises. Well, obviously keen to mark his century with a goal, uh, Didier Deschamps. He's only scored four times in those 99 previous appearances but has never, ever scored a goal in a European match. And when that ball is headed across, Vita Baye just about holds it beneath his crossbar from uh, Lillian Turam. Another free kick for the French and the uh, Portuguese uh, committing... Tries to get the benefit of a ricochet and keeps applying pressure here. And Lula Gomez has given Portugal the lead right out of the blue. It must be their first attack. And what do they do? They score a goal with it. Lula Gomez gives Portugal a very unlikely lead in the European semi-final. But as disconsolate, stranded... And it was the persistence of Sergio Conceição. They got a ricochet there off Petit. Deixa. And I think the French are trying to play on uh, maybe a lack of pace on Abel Xavier's part. And he's certainly taken. There's only one French player coming into this match, by the way, with a card against his name. And that is uh, Didier Deschamps. So Vieira deserving of that one. Five Portuguese players have yellow cards. They are Fernando who add uh, urgency all the time. Now Henri has done well. Cuts it in here and Vita Baia makes the catch. In truth, the first 15 minutes was pretty ordinary, but the uh, game has certainly picked up a pace since then. Came out of defence, it's in towards Figo, he'll pull it across and Bartas will catch. <laughs> Nelka, edge of the area, Nicholas Nelka into the Portuguese area, he goes and smacks in a shot which is saved pretty easily by Vita Bahia. Here goes Luis Figo. And he'll try and chip it, and Bartos is able to gather. The ball came off uh, the back of one of the French defenders. Chance gone for Portugal. They were really hoping to go 2-0 up there. And it's across and uh, behind the net. Orchestrating the move. Wonderful football from the French. Sadly, not a wonderful finish from Thierry Henry. Although they're screaming for a corner. Zidane there. Again, Vieira square. Now Zidane. Vieira once more too high. Not a great finisher, Patrick Vieira. He's never scored a goal for his country. And uh, he doesn't get too many for Arsenal in the English Premier League either. There's Vidigal. I was just talking Zidane. Still Zidane. Shot coming. Oh, it was a cracker too. And the French fans who are behind the goal that Vita Bayer is defending all rose, I think, from their position 
they thought this one was going in from Zinedine Zidane. And referee Benko blows the whistle that tells us it's half time in the King Bodoan Stadium. Nuno Gomez, the Benfica striker there, has struck the only goal of the first 45. Faith in his 11 men who are out there doing a good job. So 45 minutes to come and maybe another half an hour on top of that if it goes found two round. And uh, the ball into Anelka here who'll check and turn and square it. And it's an equaliser scored by Thierry Henry for the French. France level. Peter Bailly may well have been unsighted there, but how well did Henri take that? French arms raised in salute early in the second half. 51 minutes played, and Thierry Henry scores his third goal of Euro 2000 to match his tally at the World Cup finals two years ago. And it was an exquisite ball through there to Anelka, who held it up so well, squared it, and Henri drills it low wide, and Vita Baez's right hand into the corner of the Portuguese net, and cycle all the way to the edge of the French area. He's inside, he'll cross it, and theatrically the ball is headed away by Lizarazu. Portugal have a corner. But it was such a quick throw from Vita Baez, it threatened to unhinge them for the French, 3 in all. From Petit it comes, and, uh, well, Desai was up there. Not a regular goal scorer by any means, though he did once score in a European Cup final for AC Milan against two bookings for Frenchman Vieira and Desai. But it's not been an over-physical contest as such. Here is a real chance for France. Zidane's right foot will dispatch it. Flicked away, and uh, I think the referee said free kick anyway. Well, it's a man's game, so they fight the fact that Petit is... Can this contest be settled inside the 90 minutes? Zidane shows his strength and his skill, and away he goes. Well, they just don't know what to do about him. To, to, Costinius credits, he just kept digging a wiggle. Zidane on the burst, lovely ball. Nicholas Anelka. And just uh, although he pulled it across, Fernando Dan would turn on this. And it's a great ball in. What a visionary ball from Zidane. Anelka seemed to trip as he went for it. No foul, no hint of one, but what about a skill again from Zidane? Just to pick out Anelka falling into the header. Exactly halfway through the second half as we look at those skills of Zinedine Zidane which uh, would light up the pages of any book. It's to have this, their third corner of the evening. Long from Petit. Desai's uh, got up there for a second time with the same end product. Over the top. Laurent Blanc's up there for it. Little drop for Petit. Just. Well, it was a goal kick. I thought it might well have uh, taken a touch from the goalkeeper. Maybe it's flicked off the outside of the upright. But the man who struck the third goal in the World Cup final against Brazil is so, so close. Zidane, delicious ball. Henri, covered by Costa. Corner. And uh, Henri, his pace is such a nightmare for defenders. The ball again was from Zidane. So much going on in this game, so much to enjoy. Squared to Deschamps. He'll hit one in here. Yeah. Two efforts on goal from Didier Deschamps. Neither is registered. Played for so many years at Juventus, Didier Deschamps, before his move into the English Premier We saw the Belgian goalkeeper, Philippe de Wilder, in a similar situation. And he took the Turkish player out completely. He's headed back across goal there. And Bartas now has his hands on the ball. Portugal nearly snatched it. 
We saw De Wilde get sent off in a similar situation to the one in which Bartas found himself. Patrick Vieira slipped in here. Igor Sharam, and he'll knock it back, and it's cleared. It was lovely attacking play yet again from Lillian Sharam. The man who's two goals won France the World Cup semi-final against Croatia two years ago. Such inventive play from him. Here's an exciting tackle. Over the top this time, Vieira getting in in front of Desai, but having the same result. Still, he hasn't scored for France. Six or seven Portuguese players in here looking. Oh, it's a fantastic save from Abu Xavier's header. Otherwise, the man from Mozambique would have been the national hero of Portugal. What a save it is from Bartes. The blonde thatch goes up above everybody else's. Thumping header from a man who has got a couple of goals for Portugal. And a fabulous one-handed save from Manchester United's new goalkeeper. And then to take it past the defender. And it's right across the face of goal. He went past Fernando Couto as they didn't exist there, Thierry Henry. That looks more of four years ago when uh, Germany won under those rules and that's exactly what we've got we've got extra time in Brussels and we're starting as we started the match with Portugal attacking the goal to our right Portuguese penalty area oh drama here right at the start of the extra time period and it was Zidane whose two headers killed off Brazil in the World Cup final who got in above the new player out here Rui George to put this header over the bar but Rui George just did enough. Still he goes Henri, may have taken it too far. And he's got a corner out of it, but uh, for a time there I thought he'd uh, run it dead. Paolo Bento shielded it against him very well. Good defending this from Paolo Bento. Perez, oh it's over the top block. He's a towering presence in that Portuguese penalty area. Scored against Denmark, of course. Going to do Sergio Conceição can set up Portugal. Cut out here by Vieira getting back before it got as far as João Pinto. And now we have a Portuguese player down. Sergio Conceição, who is fouled there by Lizarazu. To take them into the final. And Zidane thumps it, but it takes a massive deflection. And over the top it went. Francis corner. Pumps it in very hard, but uh, it was off the head of João Pinto that it went out. And that's the first period of extra time over and done with. Still, I cannot find a winning side here in Brussels. It's uh, 15 minutes away from the first. Tomorrow, the final fixture in Amsterdam, and then on Sunday in the De Cape Stadium in Rotterdam, the very... Only to Vieira. Zinedine Zidane tries from distance, pulls it wide. Peter Bayer able to see that ball go past his left hand upright. No harming having a go, but the goalkeeper knew it was never going to trouble him. Go has squared it. João Pinto has got on here. João Pinto! A raking shot, a foot the wrong side. Oh, French heart stopped beating there. João Pinto, he's missed the final, but he nearly took his team into it. Good effort from a man who has scored uh, 19 international. Trezeguet, and down goes the keeper, can't hold it. Viltered into the side netting. It's a corner. Trezeguet uh, shouting about the arm. Vita Bay. Uh, He's complaining to the referee's assistant has come over. Is he going to give a penalty? Is he going to give a penalty for a handball? Vita Bahia. But since then, it's Zidane. France are in the final. Portugal go out in the most dramatic of circumstances. Zidane arm raised. He's on a lap of honour. You really have to feel for Portugal. Red cards are being shown now. And very unsee unseemly and unsavoury scenes, I have to say. 
while at one end of the ground it's all hullabaloo in celebration and white flags are waving and players are kissing and cuddling at the other the referee is going to get an escort off the pitch there's fighting down there I can see Paolo Bento Peter Bay is still talking to the referee in a huddle but uh, several of the other Portuguese players are having to be restrained some are totally distraught they cannot believe that they